Hello, and welcome to the Bartender video tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to design a data entry form in Bartender. A form allows you to directly input data at print time, which will then be printed on your label or other item. Designing a label template allows you to predetermine how the information on your label will appear when printed. However, if you need to input new information each time you print, you can do that with a form. Designing a form is similar to designing a label template. This label template has three areas where the print operator needs to input information at print time. To create a form, click the Form tab at the bottom of the design area. Here in the Form design area, you can design the look of your form. The form can be sized to fit your needs by using the handles on the green outline of the form. You can also open the properties of the form by right-clicking on it and selecting Form Properties. In the Form Properties dialog, you can adjust the size of the form, give the form a name, add a background color, change the reading order, or set position controls. You can also set the tab behavior for the form and modify the font properties. The form utilizes different types of controls to allow the print operator to input data. The Data Entry Control icon allows you to select the type of data input controls you want for your form. When you open the drop-down menu, you will see a number of different options for entering data. You can learn more about each data entry control in the Bartender Help. The first control on the list is the Text Input Control. This allows the print operator to type directly into the form whatever text they want to be printed on the label. Once you place it on the form, drag the control to achieve the desired size. The size you see here, in the form design area, is the size the control will be on your finished form. You will notice that the control has two parts. The label is the text that tells the print operator what information should be input into the adjacent data entry control. The data entry control is where the operator enters or selects the data. The label is optional and can be turned off on the text label page. To change the text in the label, right-click it to open the Properties dialog. In the Text field, enter the text for the label. Now you need to link the Name control on the form to the Name object on the label. The Data Sources pane contains all the different types of data sources on your label template. Under the Template Object Data Sources, you will find the individual objects placed on the template. To reveal the data source of a template object, click on the plus sign next to the object. To link the data source of the object on the template to the control on the form, drag the Name Data Source from the toolbox over to the field in the Name Text Input Control. Now you have a place on your form for the print operator to type in the name they want to appear on the template. You may want to provide a list of items for the print operator to choose from instead of typing the data. The drop-down list data entry control will allow you to provide a list of options for the print operator to choose from. To add items to a drop-down list, open the Properties dialog for the list and select the List Items node in the navigation pane to the left side of the dialog. In the Display Text column, click on the first cell and type in the item you want to appear on the list. Enter as many items as you wish. Bartender will provide additional cells until your list is complete. Once you have entered all the list items, you can link the drop-down list control to the template by selecting the Linked Data Source node in the navigation pane. Select the List Data Source and click Close. Your drop-down list entry control is now linked and populated. Another common control that you may want to use on a form is the Date Picker. The Date Picker control will provide a calendar for the print operator to select a date from. Since this control works only with data types that are dates, make sure that the data type for the object on your template is set to the date data type. Now you can drag and drop the date data source from the toolbox onto the date picker control to link the two. Once you have determined what controls you want, you can further configure the appearance of the form by adding shapes, lines, or pictures to the form. These are added to the form just like you add objects to your template. Simply choose the object you want from the toolbar, then click on the form to add it. To see how this all works together, click on the Template tab at the bottom of the Design area. Select the Print Preview from the File menu to see the form you just created. Fill in the Data Entry fields and click Preview. And here is your label with the fields populated by your data entry controls. 
To quickly recap, in this video, you learned how to design a form for data entry at print time. Designing a form is done in a similar fashion as designing a template, except you create it in the form design area. You can use a variety of different data entry controls to input data at print time by linking the controls on your form to the objects on your template. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.